delightful leprechauns, beer, and music all flowed freely at Dunedin St. Patrick's Day Festival today. As News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki reports, there was something for everyone to enjoy. Right here at Flanagan's Irish Pub is the heart of Dunedin's St. Patrick's Day Festival. As you can see, they have lots of green swag in case you don't have any. But inside, of course, plenty of beer. Happy St. Patty's Day. Downtown Dunedin turned itself into Ireland today to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. We've got uh, tons of beer trucks. We've got tons of live entertainment. And uh, we're going to celebrate our heritage today. We've got a great Celtic heritage in this town and in this community. And uh, everyone's Irish today. Flanagan's Irish Pub put on the 31st Annual Street Festival and spends months planning for an expected attendance of 40 to 50,000 people. I came to this festival for years before I owned it. And I was always in awe of it. And now that I own it, it it's, it's just incredible to come out here and uh, and feel the, the, the honor of being a part of it. The festival featured live music, plenty of food and drink, and local vendors along Main Street and Pioneer Park. Plenty of vendors. Uh, the vendors are, are awesome. They've got all kinds of different stuff from Celtic clothing to we got crazy t-shirts. We got the whole nine yards. One of those vendors, Sentimental Art Florida. We do houses, we do pets, kids, grandkids. Here in dog eating, you can imagine probably 70% of our business are, are pets. The St. Pete-based business has artists create drawings of whatever you want. For a small business, there's not many places that you can go and spend three or $400 and have 35 or 40,000 people walk by your booth. Owner Chris Turley said they've had attended the festival for at least a decade. He's just made a great opportunity for a lot of small businesses and it's a great, great day. Everybody should come out. Now the festival does result in a lot of road closures in downtown Dunedin, so you can check our article at WFLA.com for a complete list of where you can and cannot park. In Dunedin, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.